Okay, we're going to be here talking about Wiz Vocal Writer. It's something that I feel like is um, not necessarily necessary, but something that really helps mix vocals. If you're an audio engineer and you're recording vocals or mixing vocals, this thing would help you a lot. So we'll take a look at it right now. All right, so the first plugin that we're going to do a review on and put on our template is Waves Vocal Writer. All right, so we're going to listen to this real quick and see what the vocal writer will do for it. Slap you in your forehead, pussy so good. I'ma slap you in your forehead. I'ma slap you in your forehead, pussy so good. I'ma slap you in your forehead. I'ma slap you in your forehead, pussy so good. I'ma slap you in your forehead. I'ma slap you in your forehead. Bitch, if you're a freak, back it up. Tell me what you need in that cup. Baby girl, you know I'm trying to fuck. Show me what you are and be the dirty slut. Pussy so good. I'ma slap you in your forehead. You see, it's not as consistent as it could be. Um, so, in the start of a mix, I always have this on, and it's gonna sound a lot better. All right, now you see from chorus to chorus, it sounds a lot more consistent and put together. So it gives you like glue. Um, another thing is, it's not that you need it to mix vocals. Um, you can obviously like um, automate your vocals to sit better within the beat, but doing that, it takes a lot of time. <laughs> um, so that's why I use the vocal writer. The vocal writer can also um, be using to write, like, um, like write the automation for you so you don't have to um, do it yourself, but I don't really use that. I don't think it's useful. I'd rather just use it as a plugin, a live plugin. It's faster that way. Um, but yeah, that's the vocal writer. All right. 